In this video, we're going to be sketching y equals x squared take away 3x over x squared plus 9. So first thing to do, can you factorise the numerator and denominator? Well, the numerator factorises to x, x take away 3, but unfortunately, the denominator does not factorise. Right. OK, so first thing to check, vertical asymptotes, where the denominator is 0. But the problem is that x squared plus 9 um, is always greater than 0. So x squared plus 9 is greater than 0 for all real values of x, and so there are no vertical asymptotes. OK? Right, this is unusual, OK, based because of what we've done previously. You know, it's taken it this far to get to a point where the denominator, where the, uh, denominator can't be 0. OK. So, no vertical asymptotes. Right. How about, are there any points where it crosses the x-axis? Yes, that's when the numerator is 0, so that'd be at 0 and 3. So, 0 and 3 were crossing the x-axis. Right. Uh, how about where it crosses the y-axis? Well, that would be when x is 0, okay, which is 0. So, 0, 0 is our point of intersection. Right, OK, so we've got that. Right, how about a horizontal asymptote? Well, the order of the numerator and denominator is the same, so that should be fine. So dividing top and bottom by x squared, we're going to get 1 take away 3 over x over 1 plus 9 over x squared. So that's going to be tending to 1 as x tends to positive or negative infinity. So y equals 1. is a horizontal asymptote. All right, OK. So where does it cross the horizontal asymptote? That would be, uh, that would be helpful. So if I put x squared take away 3x over x squared plus 9 equal to 1 and multiply up, we can subtract the x squared from both sides, divide through by minus 3, and we get x is equal to minus 3. So we're crossing through the horizontal asymptote at minus 3. OK? Right. Well, what must this look like then? Well, remember, it's got to tend towards y equals 1 for both extremes. OK? It's got to go through these two points. So it must be going through the two points like that. OK? We're going to have to tend towards y equals 1. We can't cross the horizontal asymptote over here because there's only one point of intersection. But we can cross the horizontal asymptote there. And then I'm going to have to come back on myself in order to tend towards the asymptote. OK? And so the curve must look something like this. So it's definitely unusual based on the curves that we've sketched so far. Um, but that's uh, what we have to deal with when there are no vertical asymptotes.